Hey everyone, my name is Gavin, and this will be a video on how to create an interactive door with Python in the BGE. And I'm just going to get started. So to start off, what we're going to do is with this cube in the middle, I'm going to hit S and Y to scale it down on the Y axis. Scale it down, sorry. Um, S, X, and 2 to scale it out, and S, Z, and 3 to give it the shape of a door. Okay, now that we have this, I'm going to go into edit mode like so. And I'm going to right click on this face right here. And I'm going to do mesh, snap, and then cursor to selected. Go back into object mode and do object, transform, origin to 3D cursor. So we should be able to move our door if we rotate on the Z axis like this. So RZ to rotate on the Z axis. Okay. Now what we want to do is rename this to door like so. And I'm going to go into my animation view. So animation like this. And what I'm going to do now is from our top view, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the animation panel up, set the start keyframe animation to zero, zero, sorry. Um, the current keyframe animation is going to be also zero, and the end keyframe is going to be 10. Okay, I'm going to do I and then lock the rotation on frame zero, and do the same for frame 10. So I and then lock rotation, and then on frame 5, what I'm going to do is do RZ90, then RZ180 to bring it back like this, and I'll do I and then lock rotation like so. So we should see we have a door that opens like this, whoops, not what I was expecting. Let's do RZ and then negative 90, and then do I and then lock rotation like this. So we should have a door that opens like this. Okay. Now that we have this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from defaults to game or animation to game logic and Blender Render to Blender Game. And on our door, I'm going to add a property. This property is going to be called Open. And it will be a Boolean operator. And what I'm going to do is have an Always Sensor like this and a Python controller like this. And let's add two different action actuators. So one and then two. This first one will be named as open, and I'm going to put the door action right here, and let's put from zero to five, and we're gonna put play. All right, the second one we're gonna have is gonna be called close. We're gonna play the door action. And it's going to be from frame five to frame 10. Minimize this and connect these right here. And what we're going to do is make a simple script. So let's do templates, Python, and game logic simple, and delete the portion I've highlighted right here. And hit control and scroll up to make your text larger and rename this as door scripts.py and add this right here. Okay, what we're going to do now is I'm going to do shift and C to bring the crosshair back to the middle and do spacebar and add a cube. This new cube that we add, I'm going to name as player. I'll make it a static character really quick. We're going to name this as player like so. Yeah. Player. Okay. Now that we have this, what I'm going to do is we're going to get a variable that's going to be associated with distance. So let's have player distance is going to equal own dot di get distance to scene dot objects player. What we're now going to have is have if player distance is greater than let's say 10 and own open is equal to true. So if our door is open and the distance to our player is very, very far away, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do, um, well actually first off we have to define our two sensor or actuators. So let's do open is going to be equal to constant actuators open and close is going to be equal to controller to actuators close. Okay, now that we have this, what I'm going to do is down here. What I'm going to do is have if our distance is greater than 10 and our door is open, I'm going to do controller to activate close and I'm going to have own open is going to now equal false. 
So what we should see is if this variable open is labeled as true on our door, and I move this player back a fair amount, we should see that the door is going to open. Actually, something not right there. Let me check. Oh, scene is not defined. Define your scene really quick. So we should see if we hit play, the door should now close just like it did right there. Because it's labeled as open, but the door is not closed. Okay. Now that we have this, what we're going to do is we're going to have, um, I'm going to go back into my door. And what we're going to have is have a motion, or I'm a button press. I'll just use the left mouse button. So let me add a mouse sensor. I'll name it as click with tap selected, and I'll minimize this. And what's going to happen is every time I hit this mouse button, so I'll define my click sensor over here. Click is going to equal controller.sensors click. What we're going to have happen is have if player distance is less than, let's say, 5 and own open is equal to false. So if the door is not open and our distance is very small, what we're going to have is have if click.positive. We're going to have um, constant activates open. And then own open is going to equal true. So if we move this cube really close like this, set this property back to false. If we hit play and click, we should see the door is now going to open. OK. What I'm now going to do to demonstrate this further is I'm going to right click on the player, add two keyboard sensors. These, are for, these will be for forward and backward. So forward, backward, put S for this key. Connect these over here, add a motion sensor, two of them. Zero points two for each, and negative zero point two for this one. And what we should see is that if we connect these, we should be able to move our cube forward and backward. So I'm going to hit P, click this button, the door will open. I'll move front, fairways, it'll close like this. Move back, click the door to open, move back all the way here, the door's going to close, and so on and so forth. Alright everyone, so this is how you open and close a door, um, with an interactive door, sorry, with Python and the BGE. I hope you guys find this very useful. And thanks for watching, everyone, and have a good day. I'll show you the script just for one more second. So if your door is labeled as open and your great and your distance is pretty far out, uh, just activate the close animation and then um, set the property to close. If you're close and you click the left mouse button and the door is false, just activate the open stuff. All right, everyone.